Hello and welcome. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to change your alternator on your Grand Marquis or Crown Victoria. Now behind me is 2005 4.6 and this is the one I'm using. I'm actually using a brand new one from Powermaster. So let's get to work. So there's a little square peg right here on this tensioner and we're going to use a 3 inch drive ratchet to loosen the tension to get the belt off. Alright, put my 3 3-8s ratchet here on Titan and I'm going to push it just enough get enough slack to remove the belt around the alternator only and I'm just going to easily let it back off because it is spring loaded so you don't want it to go back too fast you don't want to get your fingers stuck all that good stuff and if you got a newer tensioner it's got a lot more spring tension I like to leave everything else around on the serpentine belt on. That way I should only be able to have to tighten it back up and just put the belt back on the alternator by itself. Otherwise you get something loose and you don't have the diagram here showing how to route it or you didn't take pictures or have a pho photographic memory. Might be a little, little issue but it's always rib belt to rib pulley smooth side of belt to the smooth pulley now let's get to the alternator now for the engine cover i just use a quarter inch ratchet and an extension just to get right there and loosen that off and it's got these two little prongs here i'm gonna pull forward a little bit now usually with dealing with an alternator the first thing i actually do like to do is loosen the power wire off the battery and I'm gonna have to clean that and put some dielectric grease on it before I put it back on make sure it don't come into contact with that because I don't want anything to happen here with this wire it's typically usually a lot of them go straight to the battery and I don't want to arc out on anything where it accidentally falls, hits metal, or you're using a tool and it hits metal, metal somewhere. So I just like to avoid that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do is pull this plastic or this rubber cap up and away from this, so I can get to the power wire on the alternator. It's 10 millimeter, and I'm going to hold the wire so I don't twist the plastic too much. So that I can remove this nut right here. And move it over here out of the way. Alright, now take a 10 millimeter and then loosen these four bolts right here on this bracket above on top of the alternator. And I'll just lay that over there. All right, now there's two bolts left. We need to loosen this one and loosen that one. Give it a couple turns and loosen it. You see the alternator kind of shift. We can pull straight up, flip it over. And this harness right here is much easier to get out right here in my opinion I got a little pig tool I like to use for things like this because I can push down and pull back and try to get in here there we go all we have to do is because it's slotted just like the other one is get ready to drop it down I'm gonna go ahead and plug up the harness now set it right down in place now 
just going to tighten these two back up. I'll snug that one, come over here. Snug it. Tighten this one. Snug and no more than quarter turn. You don't want to crack the aluminum casing. Now, we'll put this bracket back on. Just make sure you don't get them too tight before you put all four in. Get all four started, then you can snug them down. And I got them snugged down. Give them a little turn. And that's it on that part. Now, if you get dielectric grease, we're going to put a little bit there. Just a little bit. Set that on there. We're just going to snug that down. Slide the rubber cap back on it. Now while we're here, I'm going to go ahead using my ratchet again. Put on the tensioner. Push down this way. Slide that on there. Slowly release tension. Make sure all the belts are still in place where they were, where they're supposed to be. All right, now for the cover. I'm gonna bring it up forward. Get it lined up in the notches. Make sure that's where it should be. Now I'll take my quarter inch, tighten that back down. And then now I'm gonna clean the battery real quick. Now I'm just gonna put a little dye electric grease around the terminal. Mostly around the top, because when I slide down that terminal on the post it will uh, go with it I swap back over to my eight millimeter tighten the battery back down well the terminal make sure it doesn't move and wiggle put this little thing back on it and we're done all right, it's running. Alternator gauge is right where it should be. Turn everything on right where it should be. So it's working good. That's all we can ask for. Well, it shows you can do this at home by yourself with just simple tools. No need to take it to the shop to replace it. Find an alternator yourself. Do it yourself. I hope this information proved helpful. As always, thanks for watching.